back, welcome back, welcome back. I am your host, Hennessy. I'm my co-host. <laughs> Janelle. Elena and Janelle. Oh, oh, okay. And this is a sneakily pod. But no, y'all can do y'all intro. <laughs> <laughs> this is Henny's episode right. today. She's in the middle. She's, she's running the, the outline. She's running shit today. <laughs> Except I'm not editing shit. <laughs> nice. Sorry, Janelle. You are the MVP, though, oh, always. She really is. Somebody DM'd Probably. me over the weekend, like, asking what software we use. I was like, I have no Swear. clue. Yeah, and I was like, Janelle edits. As her. <laughs> Go to Janelle. <laughs> That's so funny. I was talking to some of my friends about, like, editing and, like, different softwares. And even Kusto, he, yeah. he, uses, he uses a whole different software than I do, too. It's always, mm-hmm. like... Premiere Pro or um, Final Cut Pro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I hear like, Premiere Pro all the time. Yeah, yeah I hear Premiere all the it's time. It's part of as well. Adobe. Yeah, so if you have Adobe Cloud and everything, it just comes with it. Yeah, so. which probably works easy, like with the Photoshop and. Yeah, exactly. Oh, by the way, you edited the um, the reel so well. The uh, the Housewives. Oh, um, our Housewives! Y'all saw that? It was so cute. I was like, eh. the Housewives that were hilarious. Was, that, yeah. was, that was really fun. Let us know if you guys want to see more Housewives content. Yeah. Oh. Should we do a Housewives series? <laughs> you know, because we can do it. We can Housewives get real messy. Episode. Yeah. Ooh. Chew That'd Hefner is Andy Bravo. <laughs> I mean, I mean Andy Cohen. Andy I'm Cohen. sorry. Andy Cohen. Andy Bravo. <laughs> Andy Bravo. <laughs> his his name is Andy Bravo. Name, that should be his name. Andy Bravo. Man. But yeah, did ever? you guys see Rihanna at the Fenty thing when she's like, no. you're not a Bravo girl? The girl the girl interviewing her and she was talking, I don't know if the girl doesn't watch Bravo or whatever. Oh. And Rihanna was like, you're not a Bravo girl. She's like, I don't think I can carry on with this conversation. There's <gasps> a whole clip and she starts talking I about the housewives. I see that. Yes. Holy yes. shit. I need that clip now. Yes, I'm yeah. a Bravo girl. Like, you same. know, honestly, when you say I, I love me some Bravo. Man, I love the mess. It's nice. Ex- <laughs> it's I nice escapism it. because like, it's shit that I've never, I will never yeah. be able to do it live. Right. Like, like, somebody right. was like, Rihanna's yeah. just like us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because who would have yeah. thought? Would've yeah, from the housewives to like below deck. I love below deck. Oh, below deck is yeah, good. Yeah, that is <laughs> okay. Really fun. This is way off topic. <laughs> did we talk about this did we, below deck at all before? Okay, do you did you remember like I, I don't know if it was the, but down below um, like the Australian one? Or oh what? yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. but did you see the one worker that tried to climb in the bed with a girl <gasps> yes. naked? Yeah, while he was I haven't drunk? watched this. I was Ooh. watching this, and, and even yeah. Deshay was like, "What the fuck?" Like happened? production had to step in and tell him to get out of her bed he was drunk as fuck yeah climbed in her bed un like unproved like vogue she was oh, like what the fuck he was no. butt-ass naked trying yeah. to fuck her and like trying to oh, shut the door no. yeah. oh she was projection. drunk she, she was she really was drunk. drunk and he yeah. was too but it was like so co- she was incoherent yeah it was so. completely mm. inappropriate but mm-hmm. first time besides like, the point yeah the first time that like i've seen production really yeah. in on a show like that um yeah, real crazy. It was crazy. crazy. They ain't trying to have no fucking, you know. Oh, hell no. Uh, like, that, that, and that's a serious. And, and he got fired right after that. Yeah. Those socks yeah. are cute. I'm just got thrown off. Those are really cute. Thanks. Let's yeah. get into what are we wearing right. today? Yeah, you're, yeah. You're Elena, what do you have on? <laughs> um, okay, so I am wearing the reimagined fours that came out this year. Mm-hmm. Speaking of fours, um, <laughs> I actually really, really like these. I will say, though, I after seeing the one guys like deconstructed mm-hmm. with like the oh, off yeah, white looking, I was like, man, I. That shoe looks, it looks so, good. so good. Jordan should have hired him. They really should have. He, he ate that one up. Yeah, yeah. he really did. He um, I forgot where the socks are from. What's the girl? The girl's Instagram. She she did. Girl, uh, oh, oh, that's the oh. girl. Drea's, Drea, I got these at oh, the Secret damn. Santa. I forgot. Oh, her yeah, because I remember well, when we switched. Yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. plug it oh. in. We'll definitely plug it in because I, I forgot her yeah. Instagram. But she does these Nike socks with the jewels. Yeah, I, love um, I won these at Secret so Santa. Cute. There was a black and a white pair. I love them. They're really cute. So cute. Um, yeah, Can I, I just with the gift card. Was I don't think it had a gift card. I think it was just socks. Is it fifty dollars with the socks? No, no, there was something else too. Oh, you don't know. I got a, the Lego else. flowers. The Lego. It was the Lego. It was the Lego. Lego. Our minimum was fifty dollars. No, it was Drea's thing, and it was the socks. <laughs> okay, yeah. police. She said she didn't spend it. Fucking way. Both socks were twenty five dollars. Like no, you don't get to come back. <laughs> you done. need to leave. <laughs> yeah, she's like Drea. You're not invited next year. <laughs> I just. I took this week. No, these are really really cute. Um, and then I have on some Fashion Nova shorts, comfy Ooh. as hell. And, Ooh. And then um, this Public Enemy crop t-shirt that I found at a flea market. Oh, nice. Oh, you just have to open it every so often because it'll yeah. close. Mm. But um, yeah, I think it's like vintage-ish. Did you crop it or was it already It was already crop? cropped. So that's nice. why I was like, I'm buying it. Perfect. Because it's not a single stitch, but it's older. Mm. My daddy used to listen to Public Enemy a lot when we were, when I was like a baby, like young. And I used to be hella confused because like, you know, they're pretty like pro-black. And yeah. you know, they'd be like... 
fuck Elvis, that nigga was racist. And, and like, your daddy was like, they shouldn't yeah. have worked. Yeah, yeah, my daddy was just like, yeah, yeah right. fucking hoogies. Oh, hoogies is a word in Kentucky that they call white people, by the way. Oh, because okay. no one knows that word, apparently, when I say that. Oh, I've like, never hoochies. heard hoochies. Most people yeah. don't. If you're not from the South, you don't know. Okay, I thought you were saying hoochies. No, hoogies. Hoogie. Hoogie. Ornate from that's a great Ornate. question i don't know but like mm. it's some black south shit i love it mm. so um yeah my dad was super into it and shout outs to all the white people who say fuck them other white people <laughs> that are <laughs> our founding fathers fuck them our founding, founding fathers, fathers. <laughs> yeah but um yeah i got the shades on today that's all what nice. you got on hand um union twos some pants. <laughs> <laughs> very I know. Do you not like them? What's <laughs> I really don't like this shoe because really? um, I okay. Hear me out. The, it, aesthetically, the shoe looks okay. There's, yeah. there's nothing wrong with it's how the shoe like looks. It's not like the greatest, though. Yeah. yeah, it's not the greatest. You're right, but mm-hmm. it's it's not a bad looking shoe. But I had a bad experience in these shoes. I had to go do an activation in um for stash last year when I was mm. the buyer, and um this was the weekend. I actually had Genevieve and um Leah with me. We were doing the heirloom. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, activation and my dumb ass decided to only bring one pair of shoes because I thought I was going to get seated a pair of heirlooms oh. did not happen anyways you um, were working the event they didn't give you any of the shoes that's wild anyways mm. we'll leave that there the exactly <laughs> anyways um I had those like short socks with me so like I oh. was this whole thing became oh, a blister shit. now mind you the day it's, I'm gonna feel the inside of the uh-huh. shoes. Is that like the yeah, battery? are they? Yep. And it. And oh, it okay. That's literally Wait, like with the born it. and raised. It's yeah. that same. And my sh- uh-huh. my sock. Oh. It. You. They're like the Don C's. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you don't have the proper heel care bit <laughs> sock for in those type of shoes, you you're fucked. Socks for Raw. these for sure. Anyways. That, that was the worst weekend because, like, I was pissed about that shit. You're, you lost your ID, remember? I lost my ID. Oh, man. Me and Leah went to the airport. Mind you, at this point, I've had these on for two days, okay? Oh. So I can't oh. even walk because there's not even, op- like, slides or slippers that you brought. Oh, fuck. So this is, yeah, because usually I have my Marnie slides, uh-huh. right? Because yeah, I keep yeah. them bitches yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Nope, did not have them. I was on some stupid shit because I, <laughs> I had, a, um I didn't ha- put, put my uh, bag under the plane. I just had, like, a carry-on. Oh, so I had limited. to, like, yeah, pack, like, super light, whatever. But, um. Um, my my feet were bleeding. I missed. Well, I didn't miss my flight. The flight just was hella, 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 hella delayed. We mm. finally get on the flight. Mind you, forty five minute lot flight from Sacramento to. I mean, not Sacramento, San Francisco to L A. Mm-hmm. Finally, hop on the flight, get on it. We're at the fucking like takeoff part. They're mm. like, "Uh, sorry guys, uh, the the pilot don't feel good, so we got a get a deep plane. We got a deep plane. <gasps> what? We go back." to the thing at this point it's like midnight there's no more flights going out until six in the morning so they put us up in a room it took me like it was by the time i got to the room it was like 2 33 in the morning so i had to be up in like two hours my guy should have just drove the oh fucking 40 minutes God. to LA. remember i don't have an id so i gotta go through all yeah, the, bullshit the bullshit again. that i went through the first time uh, i get there okay. it's the most packed i've ever seen in a fucking yeah. um drove home. shit at five in the morning <laughs> long story Fuck. short they got up there they start checking my hands they said i got bomb shit on me i'm a fucking i'm about to be put on the do not flight list because i got weird shit on my hands apparently to make a bomb yeah that happened the second the first night too because leah was just sitting there watching it was like "Hmm," and just left i was like (laughs) leah she said uh i'll catch up with you henny like, that's some Leah shit. What if I'll I, meet you on the other side. Yeah, and I'm like, that's bro, the what if they take me to pol- police? I mean, plain jail or whatever. And I'm plain just like, jail. and I'm, I was fucking worried, okay? Because they're probably like, yeah. this bitch, she ain't got no ID. Now we got Something's some weird shit her. on our hands. She's on some other shit. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, fast forward. I'm going to wrap up this story really quickly. Um, Finally get on the plane the next day. We're supposed to take off at 6 in the morning. Didn't take off till 12 in the afternoon. At this oh point, God. I could have walked home from San Francisco <laughs> to L.A. Saying, that was all 12 hours. I get, Damn. I get on the plane because, you know, I don't like to fly. And I don't like to even say that in front of her because she won't even get on a plane. <laughs> but I really yeah, don't like to do. fly. And this was a bad takeoff. Like, takeoff is always the worst for me. I don't know why I don't like takeoff. It always bothers me. But in San Francisco, it's usually very cloudy or mm. rainy or something. Mm. So that particular takeoff, it was like very it was my worst takeoff ever mm. like it was like this like that's the plane oh going God. up like this it's fucking clouds everywhere you know when you're going through the clouds it you feel it a little bit yeah. more you know yeah. and the guy beside me was just like 
<gasps> oh, like he was no. pissed that I was like kind of nervous. Now, mind you, I'm not oh. like, ah, I'm just like, mm, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep it to myself though. Yeah. And he's getting all mad at me and I look at him and he's got like a Hitler fucking um, <laughs> mustache. mustache. So I take off my eyelashes. I put it on. I have a picture of this. Oh my God. I have a picture of this on my, on my Instagram. I made this on my story. I put a hit. I made th- my eyelash look like Hitler. And I was just like this to him the whole time after it fucking calmed down. Cause it's like, you ain't gonna fucking make me feel bad. <laughs> And he's like, oh, you think you're real fucking funny, huh? He was one of them mean white people. He was what? pissed that I put that on. Where I'm like, you that? look like Hitler. It's giving Hitler. So since you want to be an asshole to me, oh I'm going to be an asshole to you, and I'm going to wear this fucking eyelash as a Hitler mustache. <laughs> Where was Leah? I'm fucking Not on my plane. Oh, shit. She oh. was on. She, she Leah was, said, I'll see you back in L.A. No, right. Leah was already sleep woke up shower outside game bbc like she was outside <laughs> so Sounds like leah she, I, meanwhile i'm on the plane Fight looking like hitler life. like oh my with my feet bleeding <laughs> hey oh, you should have bought some flip-flops man That's i know but it or was some just, socks it <laughs> was <laughs> man it was such a long day y'all it's uh, a, that that oh turned into God. a two-day that two-day trip turned into like a four-day trip like it was just bullshit <laughs> holy shit but anyways what you got on <laughs> <laughs> oh i got on um i got on this fucking crew neck a, a dissum same crew neck i had on last week but different color different branding um i got a bobby boss lace front on it's giving um it's giving cowboy carter um <laughs> I don't know. I now That's what I got on. Oh, oh this is God. too much. <laughs> yeah. Girl, my cheeks. <laughs> the ones on my face. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Sneaky Leaf Pod. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Er, only 13 minutes in. <laughs> Man, that was a lot. Oh, was- <laughs> oh my God. That was a lot. Okay. Uh, it's hard to follow that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What you got? What you got on your But I have on the Adidas Night Joggers um, from their collaboration with Star Wars, um, and they are stormtroopers. Cute, cute. They look comfortable. They yeah, are. They are really comfortable, actually. I really wanted another. Actually, I did have another pair when um, Beyonce first dropped her um, Ivy Park line mm-hmm. with them, and um, they were just too big. Nice. Yeah. But I would have kept them if, if anything. Um, but yeah, but uh, when this episode comes out on the third, it'll be May the fourth, the next day. So I'm Cute. also a little Star I didn't think Wars. Think about out. that. Mm-hmm. Come on, Nat. You're right here. I know. Usually, usually I'm there. Yeah. I was not there today. <laughs> I was not there. Um, I have on like Target um, leggings or biker shorts and a dark. Yeah, Darth Vader T-shirt from a small shop from a Disney small shop called Fantasy Feelings. Cute. Um, yeah, it's yeah. cute. I've never seen any of the Star Wars. <gasps> oh, okay. None. <clears throat> the first Star Wars movie I saw was oh, shit, sorry, Force no. Awaken, oh. which is the seventh. That's the uh, first that's movie you've seen. I saw, yeah. That's the first one that got me into. Oh it. no, I and love, that was, that's the reboot. I love Star Wars. Yeah. Like I, in high school, my boyfriend was a huge Star Wars fan, and like mm. we waited in line for Episode oh, One to come shit. out. Like I remember that. Like so, I was like, in, not like because of him. Yeah. But like it just kind of fell in thing. line, and then like yeah. afterwards, like I really love Star Wars. Last year, after May the Fourth, I think I binged all the movies for like two oh, days, just oh, stayed wow. at home. Like I was in the Star Wars mood. Yeah. And then, what was it? The Last Jedi or what was the, yeah, the last Jedi. Was that what? Because I hadn't watched it when movie. it came out. The ninth, it, yeah, episode nine. Yeah, and then oh no, not that. What was the series? The um, oh, not the last the, Jedi. What was the series? Was it not? Was it the Obi Wan Kenobi series? Obi Wan. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, okay, that series. That series. Oh, okay. I, 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 I hadn't like watched the movies. No, oh, yeah, okay, I hadn't yeah, watched yeah. that series when it came out, so I finally watched that last year. It was so good, and I still have to catch up on Ahsoka. I haven't watched that. I haven't watched Ahsoka. I haven't watched. I don't want to watch Ahsoka because I've never watched the animated series Cold yes, Wars that's mm-hmm. the thing too. or Rebels. I started so. the anime, the Cold Wars one, because mm-hmm. of Ahsoka, but I haven't finished it. That yeah, was a while so ago. I need. I there was this guy I was talking to, and he was really deep into Star Wars more than me. Um, and he was like, and when the last season of Clone Wars came out, obviously it was like a really big thing because mm-hmm. it, it was so good. Yeah. And he was like, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. I was like, I was like okay, fine. I'll try. But the animation just so I know. hard it's to so watch. Hard. And that's, how, that's surprising for you because you're yeah, an anime. I know. Like, yeah. But it's like, it, it's like 
2D. I don't know. Yeah, like, it's real, weird. It's like really it's, cartoony. Yeah, it's, I know what you mean. Yeah. And it's not like clay animation, but it's like they're, I don't Yeah, <laughs> no, I But I think, I think they're playing all the movies in theater for the fourth they this are, year. They are, yeah. And I've are. seen them announce that and I've seen people in the comments because like diehard Star Wars mm-hmm, fans mm-hmm. do not count the last three movies. They don't. And like I've seen people don't. saying, we just need one through six. We right. don't need the rest. Like, And I like, right. and I like six through, oh wait, I, I seven, do. seven through nine. Seven through nine. Yeah, yeah, I do like the last three, but mm-hmm. I will say I understand where I they're get it. From. I mean, it's hard, like they're, one through six is such a classic it's and like, like, you, like they're just untouchable, yeah. you know? So like when Disney acquired Lucas films and then they kind of like rebooted everything, you know, like, um, it was just kind of like a, the, the star Wars elitists yeah. were kind of like, why do they do this? Don't touch our shit. Yada, Cause it's yada, like yada, revamping you know? and a lot of them are like, you know, the good and evil, like prodigy stuff. Like it yeah. was closed at the end of six. So mm-hmm. to revamp mm-hmm. it, it doesn't make sense in the star Wars yeah. timeline. There but... are some questionable things like, yeah. uh, Ray, the, yes, the, the that a lot of people were like her about her, being, like, a Palpatine. Like yeah. that I don't really understand. Or just Palpatine being alive. Yeah. That, that shit matter. was wild. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I know you probably are like, I know. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, yo. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but, I think um, honestly, when I first watched it, though, I watched it in the order that they came so. out. So I watched episode three to six and then went back and and then watched one through three. three. Yeah. Wait, yeah, four through, four six, through six. And then I watched three. one through three. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. And obviously the older, older oh, ones God. are really hard to watch. It's crazy. I was like, oh, shit. These I love are, them, though. Oh, man. Can't wait for I'm going to Star Wars night this week, so I'm excited. I'll be there May the fourth at Disneyland. Yeah, I'll be May there the this weekend. Mm-hmm. Really excited. I know it's gonna be a busy ass weekend, but yeah. I'm excited <clears throat> to get my Star Wars on. I'm dead. But um let's catch up, guys. Yeah. How what was have everyone's been up week? To? Um, well, after last episode, I did go to Disneyland for my little brother's birthday. Nice. I should have been showing up so damn late because there was so much traffic and oh. ugh, I know. But it was fine. My dad was actually really mad because it started like to kind of like drizzle, which was weird. Yeah. Because I was like, I didn't see anything in the forecast it yeah, raining at all. Rain. So I was, like, that was fuck? Monday, no? Yeah, Monday. Weird. So as soon as he felt the raindrops on his head, I'm he was dead. like, We gotta go. I'm leaving. I was like, dang, I just got here. He's like, no, I, I can't, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I was like, come oh, on. Said, yeah, no, he was, he was serious. But we did end up going like a couple of rides um, and then they left. I was like, all right. Um, what else did I do? Oh, so um, I got invited to do this like arcade, v- VR, arcade um, gaming thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> my friend Andre like hosts it. So basically there's like this app where you can play like certain games. You can win things on, you can win money on it too. Oh, you, you know, nice. when you have like the highest score of the yeah. day and just like certain things like that. But every day um, at six o'clock, they have like an actual uh, guest come on. Mm-hmm. And so they're playing the game and you basically have to beat their score. Oh, sure. So, okay. I, so my, um, <clears throat> My friend hit me up about coming on. I was like, cool. First time doing like any type of VR mm-hmm. situation. Yeah. That shit is trippy. It okay? is. I have an Oculus. I was, oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah, SK yeah, has I one was too. Those like, are weird. They can make you feel sick sometimes. Yeah. yeah. yeah I like, when, he first, when they first put it on, I was kind of like, I need to hold on to something. Yeah, like, like yeah. Feels, I feel like, where am I? Yeah. yeah, it was really weird. And, and we got to, there's like different games on there. There's like five games. So I played the Centipede game. So like, Loki centipedes were like kind of coming at me oh. and I had like this big old gun trying to like shoot them and stuff. It was, it was really weird, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun though. It was a lot of fun. Um, he mentioned the podcast on there too. Oh, so yeah. yeah, my episode comes. Oh wait. So my, so if you're listening to this in the morning, my episode does come out on the app at six o'clock tonight. Oh, cute. Nice. Um, and if you're following me on Instagram, by now, I should have posted up my referral code. So go ahead and use that to download the app. It's totally free. It's free to sign up, all that great stuff. So all you got to do is just watch me play and everything. Um, so yeah, that's, awesome. that's what I did this week. Oh, and I went to Universal real quick. Um, they're doing like a, a new like pre-show from uh, the Waterworks show that's at Universal. 
And it's for the Fall Guy, Ryan Gosling's like new movie, oh. and it's about like um, a guy who's who does stunts on a movie, but then like ends up being becoming a part of like an actual like scenario <clears throat> with like not violence. Um, damn. I forgot the gist of the movie, but I guess it was based on like a TV show as well, some okay. old TV show. What's it but Fall Guy, um, yeah, like I've never heard of it. Familiar, yeah, but I've never. But my homie um, Andre invited me to go to Universal for that, and I was like, "Okay, cool." And we were just there for a couple, couple hours, eight, and then left. <laughs> True. <laughs> the beauty of uh, having a pass at Universal too. So, oh, you have a pass there. Mm-hmm. I'm dead. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's what I did this week. What everyone else do? I've just been taking it easy. That's it. <laughs> um, what did I do? I went That's out and nice. visited my family Friday, um, and it, they're out on the way towards Palm Springs, and the stagecoach traffic oh, on yeah. Friday was so bad. It was so crazy. Where was stagecoach? It's, it's down. It's where Coachella is at. It's exactly. Oh, it's in the exact same spot. Okay. So it's two weeks of Coachella, and then the weekend of stagecoach. Okay, got so it. So it's all down in Indio, and like the traffic for stagecoach was way worse than Coachella was this mm. year. Wow. And then the pictures I've seen of the crowds at stagecoach double. It looked like the one Coachella. You said, the one you sent us. Like I don't know if the layout was the same. My mm. um, one of my aunts went. I had like a few friends mm. go. I seen like people go out there. Like I seen like a lot more people. It was kind of mm-hmm. crazy and like. Um, it just was. I know a lot of people were expecting Beyonce. She, I don't yeah. think she showed up. Um, I don't think she did. That's why they showed up. Yeah, Friday I was in traffic a lot for the fucking day because the stagecoach. Sh- I was surprised. Um, Saturday I ended up going to my homegirl's party that she does every month. They talked about it a few times. Scam and jam. It was Selena themed, so like they told nice. everyone dressed up as That's Selena. Cute. I did like a a comfy Selena. I didn't do like any of her. <laughs> I was like, she'd be wearing this outfit. I'll wear this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yesterday I actually did the certified souls show. Um, yeah. We recorded that yesterday. So. I was invited by them. Everyone was super nice. I'm horrible nice. with names. So I can't say <laughs> who's who and what's what right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm so You're also very tired. <laughs> I was very tired. So, okay. So I went to scam and jam Saturday night, and I was like, I have to be up early because I had on call time was mm-hmm. nine a.m. in Culver City over at Tilt. Um, shout out to Tilt. Yeah, shout out Black to Tilt. That owned. was my first time there at that store. It was really oh cute. nice. Yeah, um, Black owned resale store. Yes, they were really LA. cool. So I had to be there at nine a.m. I was like, okay, I have to leave this party at one a.m. in order to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, and get and fin- enough fin- um, enough sleep. Right. Get myself ready in the morning and be there on time. Mm-hmm. Like good to go. Yeah, bitch. I was there till two a.m. and then I had to get an Uber because my my friend was supposed to drive me home and then she she wanted to go out and I was like, don't worry about me. I was like, I'll catch an Uber. Like you go out. Like mm-hmm. I can't go out. So um, I it took me like twenty minutes to get an Uber and it cost Damn. me like fucking forty five dollars. I was so Jesus. annoyed. And I'm literally like six miles from downtown. I'm not even far. So yeah. like ended up getting home like after two thirty. I was oh, like shit. took me a minute to like fall asleep and then finally when I did, it was like. I got, got up at like up. seven seven thirty, and which really wasn't even enough time to get ready. I ended yeah. up being late to the show thing, just slightly, but it was fine because they were still putting stuff together on okay. set, right. nice. so it worked out. But it was really cool. I didn't know. I know you had did it before mm-hmm. last I year. Did it. Yeah, I did it last year, and like I didn't really know what to expect because like you know they gave us <clears> the basis in the email, mm-hmm. and like it was like bring four pairs of shoes, like a really rare pair, one with like a unique story, That's what it was. Mm-hmm. and then um, like two of your favorites. So nice. I was like. Nervous about picking shoes. Mm. Like, per usual, I overthink everything. What did you pick? Um, I took my Stussy SBs. Cute. I took my Yeezy Platts. Cute. Um, I took uh, Coraline Dunks. Okay. Ooh. And then I took my um, original Space Jams because they were separated, and I thought it was, like, a funny story because it was, like, a unique story. Yeah. But we didn't even That's get a Dodger talk- story, right? Yeah, yeah. But we didn't <laughs> talk about it, so I was like, oh. okay. Um, they ended up asking me other questions, but uh-huh. it was fine. Um, but it was interesting because when I pulled up, I thought it was just going to be like a solo thing. Like they did say yeah. we were going to have like a trivia segment, which that's me... what I did. Yeah. yeah it was but all I pulled stuff. up and there's like this whole like there's four other dudes. I was the only girl there. Um, easy. Our homeboy was hosting the easy. thing. So it was kind of like kind of like the shop, like literally us mm. sitting around yeah, and then yeah. like these like topics that they wanted to talk about. So I was kind of like, oh, shit, this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of nervous because like, yeah. you know, it's like four other guys. I don't really <laughs> watch sports like that. Like mm. I'm not super into like statistics and like knowing 
the hit, especially WNBA. Obviously, mm-hmm. that was like a main topic because it's really popular right mm-hmm. now. But it was really cool. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, Easy carried the conversation really well. Got to talk about my shoes. They got to ask me um, some like other like fun like whatever questions. Yeah. Nice. Um, Did you ever get? A solo thing? Yeah, oh, like, okay, that's okay, kind of, okay. like, there was, like, a little, after we did, like, the little panel thing, um, like, two of us did, like, a kind of brought our, showed our shoes, talked about, like, a few things. They asked us, like, some questions. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, I was done. I wrapped it up. It was, like, I was so tired um but it was really cool and there was like a trivia part and i know you did the trivia and it was by yourself but they did it like me and like the other guy i'm so sorry i forgot your dang name uh (laughs) me and the other guy and they we had like the little buzzer oh so it was like we were playing against each other man oh that's cute i I want to go back on it i I know so i was nervous i was like oh my god i'm not gonna know anything because it was like nba questions but i did know shit like i kind of knew most of the answers and then like one of them, um, the last one, he because it was like they would give you multiple choice, mm-hmm. and okay, then you can yeah, answer. So yeah, they yeah. like let you know. Mm-hmm. But if you knew before, you can hit it because it was like obviously whoever hits yeah. it first. Right. So the last question, he was like some um, who was like uh, Converse like main basketball star for like the last like so I was like Chuck Taylor, duh. Yeah. <laughs> so like I, that's how literally yeah. I won. I was like. <laughs> But I was I so know. nervous. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, at least you got multiple choice. I didn't get that. You didn't get multiple choice. Yeah, they no. gave us multiple choice. But I mean, even before they read it, I knew. Like, even, a, like, there was another one. Like, which one of these uh, Jordan 11 colorways is, is like, which one of these colorways is not, like, a Jordan 11 colorway? Like, some, it ended up oh. being, like, cement. Oh, so some of them were kind of easy. It. There was a few that were, like, um, kind of like, oh, wait, what is it? But when they read the options, you're like, you're like okay. Oh, like, got like, it. Yeah. At, least you, at least you had that. Process of yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that was really fun. So I don't know when it's going to come out, but I'll let you guys know. You guys can tune in. A few months. That's how long it took. Yeah, yeah. I believe yeah. it. Because um, I did it in... I know it did take a long time for it to come Actually out around this time last year. Yeah. Oh shit! And it came out in the fall. I feel yeah, like yeah, it, it came, came out, out way later. November, You're right. But I wonder because I know they were filming other people afterwards, and like I don't know how it's I gonna. They're gonna move quicker this time. Out. Yeah, but yeah, it was like a whole quicker. production. Oh yeah, like, no. When I went to, I was like, oh shit, like yeah, this is nice. This, this is yeah. nice. I like this. Oh yeah, nice. this is yeah. like this. You're right. I need some tips. Okay. Where all this shit from? Yeah. So it was really cool. Nice. Thanks nice. for having me, Certified Souls. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. I want to see who else is, was going to be, is going to be on it. Mm-hmm. Me and Paulina did it last time and mm-hmm. Easy. Um, and then the twins that own um, Tilt did it to, I can't remember, someone else did too. Yeah, so Trey was on the panel it? with me yeah. there. So, so I wonder nice. who else is going to be a part of like your your season. Yeah. I'm excited to see. Season. Sure, shout out to sure Certified Soul. Yeah, That's a tongue twister. Uh, um, certified soul. we pick up anything this week? Other than the... Um, we got them Georgia, Georgia peaches. peaches. Georgia um, peaches. Yes. Shout out. Um, the homie went through the pawn shop for me and he picked up... Okay. I know they were like... I don't know what the name of them were. I seen somebody like call them like... If they were like Malachi or like um, oh, yeah. like a Phantom Royal. I don't mm-hmm. know if there's a name for them, but it was like that color blocking with the blue and like the I gray. love those. The that color was so good. Um, they you got to get a Dodger fit off of that. Yeah. Ooh, like they ended up having yeah. um, a seven at pawn shop and like the homie grabbed it for me. I was like, oh, I need them ASAP. So yeah. I got lucky with that. Nice. I was at um, Syndicate the other day. Mm. My brothers like turned in some stuff and they were picking out things, but I didn't see nothing. I didn't see anything I like except for those CPFMs though. Yeah, yeah the the other day. that yeah. was a great I price. If they would still, if they would still. See, be I there. feel like I would need a nine because I my vapor maxes. I feel like they're they tight. run a little so small. like oh, they so do. like a seven for me. Like I'm normal. Oh, I would need like a woman's well, eight women's and a half. Women, yeah, 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 but I'm a woman's eight and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I would probably need Maybe a nine. Too small, yeah, because yeah, that was an eight. I was like, damn. Honestly, yeah. if it was like, if they weren't so tight, I would squeeze my foot in that eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the that, Vapor Max that's fits both of our in between size. Yeah. It does fit. Because they're so, narrow. Yeah. So I was like, oh no. Yeah. But even that. at eight, I don't know if I can, if I'm able to fit it. Because what are you like, a seven? I'm a seven and a half yeah. in women's. So I wonder. But it's, it runs yeah, small, though. They do. Because I took out the insoles in mine. Really? Just so they would yeah. fit right, yeah. Oh, shit. And you have your true size? I'm my true size, yeah. Oh, yeah, see. Hey, maybe those I eight, took how my, much were um, they again? Four? Or 400? That's not a bad price. Yeah, I think they, they were. 400? Yeah. Yeah, because I had taken my, like, years ago, this is, like, 2019, my off-white Vapor Maxes, the white ones. Mm-hmm. I took those to New York, and that's my true size, and I was like, 
and you walk around <laughs> all day in New York. So it's like, yeah. and those are supposed to be more stretchable because there's like a flight. Yeah, it was a flight, yeah. and they yeah. were, but they were still like, snug yeah. All my other, to, all my other Vapor Maxes fit fine, and they're all my true size. So yeah, maybe. Wait. Hey, hey, hey! Cut that Chill out. Chill out. That ring camera went off. You were just napping. You were being such a he good was boy. Being so good, I forgot to turn the ring camera off, like no. the chime. Anywho, moving on. Um, news upcoming. Let's get into some news. It seems like we got a lot to talk about. We do. Well, at first when I was making the outline, I was like, we ain't got shit to talk about. But so, um, this actually hit the blogs today. Nike settled their lawsuit with Bait, Bait and yeah. the Bait stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did see that. Yeah. Did you read into it a little bit more? Um, I took a screenshot. I forgot what blog. Um posted it but nike nike and us ape have revolved the lawsuit related to nike's air jordan one air mm-hmm. force one and dunk trade dress and us ape babe stuff court stuff skate stuff footwear <laughs> products mm. the lawsuit has been resolved through an amicable resolution as part of the resolution, U.S. Ape has agreed to discontinue the Bapesta Mid, the oh. Quartzta, and the Quartzta High footwear products and has further agreed to modify the design of the original Bapesta and Skatesta <laughs> footwear oh. products. So, I mean, a lot of I feel like everyone kind of wins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, They get yeah. to keep, mm-hmm. like, their original thing, you know, just modifications. I yeah. mean, I feel like... They were, they're, they're supposed to, though. Yeah. yeah. That was already, like, decided because with, mm-hmm. like, the... I think, like, the... the mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they, at one point, they said something oh, like the, the stars and, like, right oh. here uh-huh. mm-hmm. on one of the shoes, but... Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. They're settling. Everyone's settling. With Everyone's Nike. settling with Nike right Everyone's now. Everyone's settling with Nike. Everyone's in a lawsuit with Nike right now. Yeah. Man. And settling. So. <laughs> or paying up. Shit. Man. Um, but Supreme's are actually dropping their new Darwin's this, is this yes, week. Yes, finally this week? this week. Yeah. Because oh, okay. we had nice. talked about these like a uh, little bit ago. Yeah. When yeah. They, need them, like, need them, 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 many that were made yeah, it's so it's, good, it's the rarest of them all the of course, the, and of course all the good colors are yeah the same way they did with the fucking dn and that silver bullet color like friends and family like i, I oh, need them need them yeah. yeah. need them i might i might have to hit the homie in san Those francisco i'm not even playing like, huh? did supreme's dn's ever drop the black ones i think oh because uh um, yeah they they dropped yeah because oh. bris had been wearing those and i know people bring Whoa. shit mm-hmm. in but like i think they did drop at, on supreme hmm. okay but um, not the good color. Yeah, I love that shoe though. Well, we got a lot of New Balance. Yeah, two twenty two. They dropped. Oh, oh damn, that's early. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, New Balance has a lot coming out this month. Um, we those, talked about those concepts. Yeah, the polka dot uh, one. Polka dots. There's like a white with black polka dots, and then a black with a white polka dot. So cute. Yeah, the polka dots really cute. Mm-hmm. Um, New Balance has their Made in the USA coming back out this month as well. I think like oh, May second. Yeah, yeah, there's like the yeah. solid colors. I think there's like a purple mm-hmm. and like a green or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also the New Balance 1000 colorways that are dropping. There's like a few colorways. That's but a you pink had one. sent one. Yeah, with like the half pink mm-hmm. on it. Oh yeah. yeah, I love that shoe, man. Yeah, I need those. That one looks really. I cool. want to participate in that. <laughs> those are. I need, need that shoe. I are need they like that shoe. All, are they releasing all of them like together? Together. That's a great question. Time. It's weird how New Balance rolls because like I remember even like being on their B two B website when I would like do the buying and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's so confusing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with like GR product, I feel like when you get it, you can put it on the floor. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't think you a don't, lot of dates are day. attached to it because yeah. they're, they're already being shipped out at a, through a certain ship date and when oh, you're supposed okay. to receive them type shit. So, like, when you receive them, I think you can just, like, put them on the floor. To my knowledge, don't quote me. Because I don't think they really move with that product the way they do with, like, you know, collaborational stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and those are GR colorways. A lot of people, oh, okay. they were seeing, that's one thing I like about New yeah, Balance. there's like six colors. Like, God damn. they always eat on their, oh, on their, on okay. their GR shit. Yeah. Like, that's one of the only brands that like, you can, you, you like the GR, you like the collab, like mm-hmm. equally. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, mm-hmm. they don't skip you on their, their cool GR shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, their collab like the collabs are better than their GR stuff. Mm-hmm. They kind of just go because you know how like because nice. with a lot. I mean, granted, at the end of the day, 
all these brands are household names, but when yeah. we think about Nike and Jordan, like we automatically always go to a poor version of this or a poor yeah. version of that mm -hmm. when we see a, a new colorway that drops. That look or, like a collab. Yeah, yeah. that look like, like a collab. Yeah. Like they'll automatically always have that like yeah. mind towards. A lot mm -hmm. of people do at least, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just saw a fucking four that is dropping and somebody was like, oh, that's a poor man's M&M or something like that. But I'm like, dead. it's- Yeah, the I, same thing with that one. Like, was it the purple four? They were like the trap, the- the poor man. Oh Travis. yeah, that girl, I mean, that women's uh, four. Yeah, women's four. I have that women's four. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice four. It's though. a good four. It's a nice that's, four. And like, it's honestly, it's almost like the. It's really puffy and thick. Yeah, I like, like that, that shoe. That four. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of limited. Everybody didn't have that shoe. No, we I, ended up um, super funny. Came up on those in Vegas at the Nike. Me and Leah and like. Genevieve and we used all of y'all got them. We did. Oh, damn. We had like a discount on them. Oh, we got no, them. Nice. So we got them for like discounted. Oh, yeah. nice. So we all just ended up like grabbing Come a on, pair. Swoosh account. Okay. Why yeah, not? Shit. Um, and also closing out on the New Balance stuff. That I guess New Balance is celebrating all things gray this year Ooh. on May fifteenth. It's New Balance's Gray Day. Nice with um, releases of the classic dad shoe color. So far, the nineteen oh six R and the Warped Runner have been confirmed. This one's really cute, but yeah, it's so funny though because like now thinking about it, like New Balance has like some of the best gray shoes out no, there. No, they definitely like they're do. they're That's something smart. about their gray. Like and they I like created that. gray. If yeah, we're gonna be honest. Like yeah. when you see like especially like people who are not necessarily into like the full blown sneaker culture, but like they're buying New Balances. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are getting they're like gray. that the gray, like yeah. the gray with the little hints of white. So yeah. I like that they're doing this like Good gray day thing. Like it's really cute. Gray is definitely attached to them. Like like yeah. bread yeah. is attached to Jordan. You yes, know what I mean? Exactly. It is it is the color of the yeah. brand. Very smart of them. Yes. Um, I mean, I don't know if we wanted to talk about this, but Jordan Eleven is doing a low space jam. I did see I that. Did I did not see that. I saw them at um Undefeated the other day and I was like, yeah. When the fuck are these coming out? I didn't That's realize they were coming out like this week or next week. Yeah. Like, I'm, why do I feel I don't know how I feel about that. It felt like went over my head. Yeah, May 18th and full family sizes. How do you think people are going to receive them? You think people are going to fuck with it? I don't think it? they're going to fuck with them. Um, no? I feel like people are going to buy them, but I don't think it's going to be they're like... Gonna yeah. Definitely. It's not a bad looking it's shoe not. though. I mean, it's a space jam. It's, yeah, yeah. So I like that like, ice bottom. Know, yeah, I, I love me a nice bottom. It's so funny though. The gentleman who I played trivia against, he um, he's a little bit older, and he's uh, he you know he said he was from the DMV. He's super New Balance guy, but um, you know he has a variety of other shoes. He doesn't just wear New Balances. But his right. whole thing was he kept saying yesterday he's like he doesn't like any of the Jordan, like not a single Jordan low. He's like, I don't think any of the Jordan should be in low except for the 11 IE. He's like, that's the only acceptable Jordan low. And I'm like, oh, he's specific. what? I was like, how could you? He's like the only, he's like, except for the Travis dropping the lows. And I'm like, no, you, you can't, can't do that. Do that. You, like, can't do no, that. So you can't do that. You can't, you can't do that. I have ones in lows. I have two yeah, in lows. I said, I have a women's 13 low. No. I'm saying you can't use a, a collab mm -hmm. low. You cannot to, to do that. Oh, Travis. This is okay though. Yeah, Absolutely, no. the fuck I was not. just kind of like, I mean, I respected that was his opinion, but I was like, what? But thinking because you know the Space Jam logo. Yeah, I, was I would tell him you're on, you're out of pocket. <laughs> well, it was really funny because <laughs> the on guy butt. hosting the trivia game when he was reading the questions, he introduced himself. He was like talking about previous season. He's like, you might remember me from last season. I'm the guy who said the Jordan Two is the worst shoe ever. <laughs> so when they're asking me my individual questions, like one of them was like, what's a um, an overhyped shoe and what's an underrated shoe or overrated shoe and underrated shoe? Uh -huh. And I was like, I think the Jordan Two is an underrated shoe. <laughs> and everyone in the room looked. <laughs> you heard what she said. <laughs> so I was like, I and said. I said what I'm, I'm standing said. on it. Standing on it. I'm because I fuck with the two so hard, and that's no, yeah. two. Like mm -hmm. the fuck. Me I was too. Like, mm, you just can't wear them right, then, sir. And <laughs> a, and a low two. I fuck with low twos. Low twos well. are better than the regular twos. Yeah. If we're gonna be honest, low key. They're they're better. I don't care what anyone says. And I love. A low ones. Yeah. Low, low ones, ones are, are so, so good. Much, so much fun. So they're a perfect summer shoe. They they're are, such a summer yeah. shoe. Y'all be summer having shoe. too many rules. I'm sorry. Like. And I get it. No, it's too many rules just, for some people. I was like, none at all. I was like, there's actually a, ro a lot of really good lows. I was like, but you know, to each his own. But. If you can't dress to say that. I, mm, 
But, you know, I get it. Like, some people, like, you, like, the low, it, it is, like, a certain, st- I mean, you can cover it up with baggy pants, but I, I could get it. Like, you know, sometimes, like, especially on men, low shoes might not hit the same, actually. Mm, that is true. I think it, on women, it depends. Like, it's cute. It yeah. depends. Mm-hmm. I think it depends on the man, too, and his shape and his body style and stuff. Because I don't feel yeah. like I look good in, like, really high top shoes sometimes. I'd be like, I'll too short for this shit. Yeah. Like, so I think with certain body styles, I agree. that could be a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but moving on, so I actually sent you guys this shoe like two weeks ago or something. I do remember. It was popping up on my feed. It was like somebody like cronk something. Um, and then I was like, is this even real? Because I hadn't seen any other blog posting about it. And then it was popping up on my TikTok timeline. And then finally I started seeing the sneaker box post about Bad Bunny's Gazelle that he's got coming out. And it's mm-hmm. so good. I mm-hmm. love Thank the you. shoe. I had people messaging me. When I, have I, to, I haven't seen them, I don't think. I sent them to you, but here. I probably forgot. It's okay. It looks like a normal Gazelle, but it's like slightly different. Like the sole is. Yeah. Like, Where is it at? But it's like, really cute. Like... Okay, I see what's going on. It has like the Benito on the side. I'm obsessed. I know people are going to want these. I've seen them play this with this gum bottle. But it's so crazy because he had them on in, um, I forgot what magazine cover he did like a few months ago. And he had them on. And I I noticed he was wearing the gazelle, but I didn't realize it was like his His, own unique. So I was like, bro, how did I not even catch They're good looking shoes. You didn't know. Yeah, because like the Benito on the side is super small, but like. And it's not flashy. Yeah. That's probably the best shoe I've seen him have, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's. That's literally the thing. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, it really is. I like. That's the best shoe. I really like that olive. What was it? A campus or something he did? I really mm-hmm. like that. But um, yeah, other than that, like, that really is like his best one. Because them other shoes they had, yeah, them clunky ass shoes. I, I like was like, those. Mm-mm, not I them like clunky them. shoes. Them yeah, shoes is heavy. Because um, I'm trying to see, like, see, like, the top of it right here, how it. Oh. Yeah, those are fire. Yeah. Those okay. are fire. It's those, literally, those are like, it's a good that? twist on. It? Those are good. Huh? Yeah, I'll screenshot mm-hmm. it. Because I'm trying to see if. Oh, see, this was like the. He did this magazine cover. Oh, and like I, see. I didn't even I notice see. at the oh, yeah. time. See, you yeah. Wanted you wouldn't, it yeah. just looked like a regular gazelle. So I was like, oh, shit. Like. Yeah, the, it, they look so good. His little fans gonna eat that one up. Mm-hmm. Those are because they're. It is. Look at her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they gonna eat those. They gonna eat those up. Elena, you might have a problem. You might better make sure you you are all hands on deck. Absolutely, <laughs> all hands on deck, baby. Like these people gotta make their own content with those now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! I was, we gotta hit up Ant. Oh, what? he might. That oh, might be, yeah. Well, oh, they're gonna we'll, get we'll, we'll, we'll chime in. Yeah, we'll chime in. We'll True. chime in. <laughs> When's it come out? I don't think there's been an official release date. Okay, I just know they've good. Been the blog. That's even yeah. better. That's even better. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they just like started. People just barely started posting them, but I, yeah, I seen these. Like, I'll tell him that's yeah. Ago. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got so. we gotta let you hold it down. You know, mm-hmm. like that. This is. He, Benito is a big part of Elena, bro. <laughs> and we have to support her. In more ways we have to than support none. her. Y'all Thanks, su- y'all supported me when I was Thanks, a Grinch, you feel me? Like <laughs> y'all like we got to support each other. I'm dead. And the things we like and love. Okay. I, love <clears throat> I don't know, do we want to talk about this or do we want to edit this out? The Jumpman Jack why, we want why to were we? Out? Why did we want, not want to talk about it? I don't know because we. Ha- I would just put it on because I was like, we haven't really talked about it. About it. when are they releasing? Honestly, we really haven't. I think they we haven't, and I'm like, you know what? There are the raffles are already going like, on. Yeah, because I feel like the the rollout has been so drug April thirtieth. Like, yeah, it, that's I feel tomorrow. Like these, that's tomorrow. I feel like this has been going on for yeah. so long. Okay, so we'll just talk about it really quick. Yeah. Um. So the Jumpman Jack Travis Scott is officially releasing April 30th, which by the time this comes out, it has passed. But for us, it's tomorrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. We haven't really talked about these, which yeah. is. I think it's because we've been seeing it. So we've been already talking. Yeah. About yeah. It. They've been getting this teased up for a long, long time yeah. now. Since fucking Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yes. yeah. That's exactly what it is. That's crazy. And it's funny because like um actually at the certified souls one of the things we talked about in like the little panel discussion was um collabs and easy was like you just talked about this and i was like yeah the irony of me wearing the travis scott was mm-hmm. like i'm tired of travis mm-hmm. scott but we, the shoe was brought up and it, it it is like a little bit refreshing from everything else no, yeah, mm-hmm. no, the colorways yeah. are the similar and i i don't mind it because it's easy he has the colors. yeah yes cool. but i will say like this new shoe this Jumpman Jack it's refreshing outside of like the dunks and the Jordan ones mm-hmm. and everything we've I continuously wish, seen I wish he got this shoe a couple years ago oh absolutely instead of us having a one a four yeah it would have been a nice mix yeah, it would have been a nice like, mix it would have been nice to have this years ago instead of just recycling the yeah. same silhouette on us yeah. before this coming out you know I agree 
I think it would have hit harder too. Yeah, because I'm about to say, I think it would have hit harder. I think it still will, but like the craze has kind of died down Mm -hmm. in the past. It definitely has. Years maybe. I think especially too, because like when he first started releasing shoes, it was like kind of. It, like far in between yeah. Yeah, yeah, each yeah. shoe and now it mm-hmm. feels like a Jordan 1 a Jordan 1 a Jordan 1 and he Jordan started one. pre-pandemic too yeah, yeah. like it, mm-hmm. that was such a long time ago yeah so like, it's yeah. kind of it's felt like a lot but I am excited for those yellow ones coming out those yellow those ones those are cute those are nice color shoe refreshing it's, it's so is. cute I agree it, the yellow is really nice it's and the, and the blue mm. yeah we need parts yeah we need parts for we need sure. parts um so how do we feel about the Nike Colt Classics I, I know we kind cool of briefly idea. talked about it last week. I think when the commercial mm-hmm. dropped. Yeah. I think it's a really cool idea, but I think they should have more thought into like what they really want to bring back and how they're doing it. Yeah. Um, because I, I know y'all all don't agree with everything. Like we thought the what the linens were cool. Yeah. I, I like the linens. Really yeah. Like I've linens. seen a lot of people. Um, I, they were on my timeline this morning. A lot of people were saying they, they really like them. They want them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But some of the other options are. Eh. Yeah. That is. I yeah. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't classify them as cult cult classics, classics. i yeah. think that's what it is because i do like the the air max like the 180 and everything mm-hmm. yeah. that's, that's a cult classic i would agree there yeah. yeah but i feel like they should have brought that during um air, air max, max month yeah. air max like, month that been a See, cool i thing. remember i had saw something about the air maxes that are coming out for air max day or air max month and the reverse duck camels were in there i remember talking about it and i was like I haven't seen shit about yeah. anyone talking about these duck cameras. So how the fuck are they coming out and no one's going and, and no, no one's, one's talking about anything. it? But yeah. it makes sense now that they're part of yeah, this and not the cult when they were. And honestly, mm. they should have gave us the original duck camo. That part but, too. That part but too. But also, why give us Air Maxes when we just had we a just whole had Air, Air Max, Max shit, month. a whole Air Max month, a whole Air Max campaign yeah. rollout, can't, everything like just a month afterwards. A month after. It just feels like too much Air Max right now, you yeah. know? Yeah. And these are cult classics. You, there's so much in that archive. Yeah, so, so much. There's so yeah. and for yeah. this to be the first one is, too. Are they doing like, two Air Maxes? Like I mean the, the, I mean, the duck camo and then the duck, the camo. But is there two colors of the 180s or just one? I think it's just two. Okay, is it just the, mm-hmm. the aquamarine one or whatever? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but even Skate brought up in our group chat about like what other ones we probably might want to bring back, and I, maybe we'll we'll throw that question out there maybe yeah. for our next unboxing next week. Um, too. Um, because he had brought up like an Atmos or something, yeah. but I also don't feel like we should be bringing back collabs. Well, mm, I feel yeah, like no, it's I'm gonna say soon. that. Yeah, I well, especially an, an Atmos like that. Yeah, but I think uh, not all classics are collabs though. Too, I think there's some that we can oh, throw yeah. in there that that don't have to be because I feel like if it is a collab you have to bring that brand a part of it and I don't think that is I what agree. they're trying to do anyways I, I think agree. they're like stuff that's in their archives yeah not ones that I feel like this would be on called. their their own like yeah, it's not gonna exactly. be collaborational be stuff yeah no I don't I don't see that happening yeah least. me neither you know um I mean, who knows? But I know they're powering it through like the neighborhood doors too. Mm-hmm. So like, what this product will be available like at neighborhood doors. Yeah. So I don't think you can really do that. Do a whole lot yeah. with that anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what Agreed. I mean? Yeah. But you know, I'm interested to see. I hope that if this does continue, that they maybe might go back to the drawing board with how they, you know decide on the product that's going to be brought back because I wish they would I, do like the voting system. I was like, literally yeah. about to say that. I was like, I wish they would ask us what we would yeah. like to bring back. Even if it's like a poll thing and they just show us like ones that they might mm-hmm. or, or thinking about. And then we can decide which one, yeah. like, like for the, um, Air Max, um, uh, the Shaman Shaman. Yeah, with the voting his, for Sean. Uh, that was so thing. cool. I yeah. mean, but even like that year, they Ooh, did the voting me. for Sean, and then his shoe came out the next year. But I mean, I don't know if it was the year after or the year before where they did like to bring back the Air Max classics. Like they had a few oh, yeah. different air, and that's when we got the Atmos, the mm-hmm. Jade, the, um, the Men color. Safari's. Yeah. Wait. No, we got no, the, no, no, the, no, that, the, that, the Safari's yes, are separate, yes, yes, but yes, we yes, got mm-hmm. that Jade color way after that, and there was like a good couple Air Maxes. I think was the Bacon on there. 
for the voting. I can't remember if it was oh, the I bacon. I remember that. like what the is it like the warhead out, like, one. Years? They came yeah, out like after. Yeah. Like, I think the warhead. The warhead were on there for yeah. voting. There yeah. was like a few that's different a good one. ones. No, that's a cold class. That one. Right that's there. literally like one of the things I thought of too yeah. because that was for the vote. So it's like that was so long ago already. Like mm-hmm. now, it's been like eight years since that. Like yeah. bring yeah. it back. Yeah. I also think it's good for the community. You know, it gets us talking about stuff. It gets them like to interact with us. Yeah. So that it doesn't feel like they're selling us on something it's actually something that we, we want, want to buy that yeah. we voted on that, that we, we will yeah <laughs> that we, we will spend our money on it. you know but i agree so we shall see how the cult classics hit and if yeah. they continue to do like a, a cult More. classic rollout mm-hmm. also whoever want to help us get them bodies please do we yeah, the, we keep seeing that the box boxes. Oh, teams teams so teams oh be a team bring it in teams, so nice. teams. that cream yeah. color is so that cream mean. color the black is, so is nice. really nice it, they're I both like nice i'm good on the black i'll, take, the I'll take both <laughs> and that box that's the most beautiful nike box i've ever it seen in my is. life the packaging so freaking nice jesus like eight down yeah. mm. i love the clear top like Dude. me too have, we have never seen something like with a clear top like not that. like that not like that, that like feels, the, i know the 11s no. used to have other like than 11 the, but not it's also came with the sleeve yeah it's like more of a sleeve or something not like a direct clear i mean the trophy rooms was similar all clear yeah, yeah but it was still like was you had different. to bring the shoes the shoe out yeah, like that top just comes mm-hmm. off like that's really dope it just feels luxurious it does it, it feels it does. just what is yeah what is the retail on them i don't know that's not that's not too bad, that's, that, not bad at all. that's great and i think on sneakers it's going to be a draw and okay. not uh <sighs> yeah and, but I saw somewhere on sneaker Twitter that they that that was just a recent change. It was going to be like a first come first serve, and then they changed Damn. it to a draw because wow. I think they're anticipating it to to be a bigger release. Yeah, I mean, no. I'm not they're surprised. so cute. Um, so okay, so kind of this is gonna lead into soul searching. Um, so I sent this to the group because I, I follow now this news on Instagram and, um, we've been talking about, um, WNBA a little mm-hmm, bit, yeah. we're talking about college ball for girls and everything coming off of that. And, um, they actually said that during this year's NCAA basketball championships, more people tuned into the women's game than the men's game yep. for the first time ever. Mm. The women's Iowa versus South Carolina game drew a breaking 18.87 million viewers. Sheesh. While the men's UConn versus Purdue matchup drew in 14.8 million. That's crazy. That's Damn. 4 million more people tuned into That's the women's college people. ball. Um, additionally, um, according to ESPN, the 2024 NCAA women's basketball final was the most watched basketball game out of men's and women's pros and college games since 2019. Wow. Holy shit. Yes. Wow. And the most watched women's basketball game on record. Wow. So this wow. like sees, yeah, like it's. That's a lot of firsts this year. Yeah. Um, the last year, the women's NCAA basketball championship had 9 million viewers. So it's 9 million more. It doubled viewers. This That's year. crazy. The shit. stats on this were so crazy. And um, I mean, obviously the Caitlin Clark, Angela release, um, Paige, yeah, pay, but, yeah, but, but, but. Buker, they call yeah. they be calling her buckets because she can't. Yeah, <laughs> and then I mean, with Juju, you talk a lot about Juju. I mean, yeah. we've got a lot of really good star players, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of popularity in women's ball right now. Yeah. And it's yeah. crazy because like you brought up like the topic. Um, I mean, we wanted to talk about military yeah. fours and like a yeah. few things, but take it away, honey. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we we really just here to have a conversation. Yeah. But um, speaking of, y'all know that the, you know the industrial blue, aka military fours, are coming out this week, mm-hmm. and um. Um, I think a lot of us are looking forward to that. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people have them early on. Feet yeah, already. There's a lot oh, of pairs out there. Did a sneakers lot. do an early drop or am I tripping? Yes, they did. They okay. did. So they did. So that's probably why too. They so did I a think shock a few drop. People yes. probably getting their pairs from the shock drop. Yeah, yeah they definitely did a shock drop. Also, retail being two fifteen. Oh my god! Yeah, insane. Expensive. Anyways. But anyways, you know, I was thinking about just. The history of the shoe, to be honest, because, you know, it came out in 89, 06, 2012. Mm -hmm. Here we are in 24. And I kind of just wanted to, like, see what that history looked like. I never saw any photos of Michael wearing them or playing them in them, by the way. But I did see a lot of NBA players over the years in them. So, like, Mm -hmm. Gilbert Arenas, Anthony Davis, who's still a Laker. Um, I think his name was Patrick... Patrick some Perkins, maybe I'll go back to it or Kendrick Perkins. But regardless, there were a lot of players like in the year of 2012 wearing that shoe when mm. it came out. I don't know if it's because it was seated to them. You know, I, I would assume 
since they are like huge names in the yeah. NBA. But, you know, it just brought me back to thinking about these other girls who are in the WNBA or in college doing, um, sorry, y'all, I lost my notes okay. for a second. Um, who are really in the fashion and, and just sneaker fashion in general that we don't see get those opportunities. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I would love to be able to see a woman's version of PJ Tucker in the NBA. Cause Hell they're, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. they're there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We got our Asia Wilson's, we got Paige, mm -hmm. we got, you know, Jewel Lloyd. Like we have a lot of, a lot of talent with a lot of style, yeah. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it's just like, how come we don't get to see it on our timelines? Like I know there's like tunnel fashion for them, just like yeah. it is yeah. for men's. And it's just crazy that I don't see any of that stuff pop up on my timeline. Mm -hmm. I follow so many like sneaker pages, sport pages, yeah. things of that nature. And we're not seeing these girls. I mean, if we're being honest, we're just now seeing Don Staley. Apparently Don Staley's been having that <laughs> shit on, you know, <laughs> like where, where is she? She, yeah. she did. Yeah. She, she put it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's questionable. Is it sometimes? Yeah. Some of them, some of them was reps. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but like, that's another question. That's another time. That's another time. We're here. We're here to empower I, right now, agreed. you know, and it took her winning multiple championships yeah. mm -hmm. also being a crazy M WNBA player mm -hmm. in her time mm -hmm. and it's just now like oh let's talk about what she got on yeah, yeah. but y'all ain't even recognizing the players the yeah. people the, the young people who are keeping the culture going like mm -hmm. it's cool we can talk about Don Staley I have no issue with it yeah. I think it's cool that she's getting her flowers but also what's going on with the youth yeah mm -hmm. the youth that is going to make this culture what it is in what however amount yeah. of time from now the you know moving the culture the yeah. ones moving it. that's that's who all these brand deals are going to right now too. Mm -hmm. They are going to be um like the LeBrons, the the Curries yeah. and stuff like that, you know? So I would love if a a lot more um pages picked up on the women's fashion and so, I mean in women's in general. We we've been wanting to see this change, you know, we're part of this change um ourselves as well, you know, but I think it also in some ways, um, does start in sports too. Yeah. I mean, wearing shoes is a part of literally what they do. Yeah. You know? So of course what you see on their feet is something you're going to want to implement too. Kids are going to mm -hmm. want to implement because that's exactly what happened with Jordan. You yeah. Know? And you got a lot and, of little girls right now. Yeah. And, and watching, watching mm -hmm. yeah. and adult women as well. Yeah. And men, you yeah. know, yeah, a lot exactly. of men. I think on when some of the guys brought up like the point, cause I mean, like I said, I'm not really savvy with like stats and like a lot of basketball, like in depth stuff. And like most mm -hmm. of the stuff I do know about basketball is men's basketball because right. yeah. I see that Same. on our timeline. That's what's yeah. put in our face. Mm -hmm. Literally. So like, even without me going to look for it, like I see it and yeah. I'm like privy to it, but like not with women's at all. So like yeah. some of the conversations they were having, Having yesterday I was kind of like uh you know I didn't really <laughs> yeah. know what to say because I was like I don't really know and like Izzy was talking about you know the Caitlin Clarks and all that and you know like what she's done over the years and I'm like I just know now because yeah. it's being in our face put in now face. put in our face everything. but like you know I haven't seen her career in the last years unless mm -hmm. like I was really in it and looking for it right. and watching yeah. those games and like I know there's people who are really about that life but like you know like i think you said we're it's not on our timelines it's not on our pages it's not on our timelines at all to the men's and it's it's not until fair. this recent trend of like and don't mm -hmm. get it twisted if it's gonna take caitlin clark for men to embrace the sport no because hear me out we need men to embrace this sport in order for it to grow yeah yeah we need because we can't do it by ourselves and I, oh that's yeah. what one of the guys said sorry they the point of all of that was like he was saying you know there are men buying her jersey mm -hmm. those iowa mm -hmm. jerseys and that's mm -hmm. like a big thing they haven't seen in recent years in recent men years buying Women's, women's NBA jerseys. jerseys yeah and like if it's her that's gonna do it then so be it so but. be it but like let's not forget these other women like yeah. Asia oh, yeah. Wilson for instance who is a huge player in the WNBA who has really fought her way through and has mm. incredible style she has by a really the good way. style yeah, yeah and it's just like it's just a slap in the face like no shade to Caitlin Clark like I love that good is coming to her and it's bringing more attention to the WNBA but it is a slap in the face to people like her who have mm -hmm. really paved the way for people like Caitlin Clark yeah. so you know I just think it's time I think it's time that we we see this yeah, yeah. I feel like it also goes hand in hand about what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago too about like brands when brands were trying to feed into like women but they were like catering to like a specific woman mm -hmm. woman but like leaving like 
OG women hanging, yeah. you know, yeah. I think it's kind of like the, the same thing that, yeah. that we've been dealing with as well. Um, I do, like you said, like love that she's shedding light on what women's sports is right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can't, you, you don't have her without the other women before her. Exactly. Yeah. Because I mean, at the end of the day, basketball is a team sport. Like she may that be great, part, yeah. but she's not out there by it's herself. It's all about team. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It absolutely it's is. all about team. Cause you can have all the talent in the world. Uh, yeah. AKA the Lakers. We're, let's talk about the Lakers real quick. Um, <laughs> See, and I've, I've heard certain stuff been, about yeah, the Lakers yeah, lately. Yeah. 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 Everyone's been mad. Cause, woo, you know, cause like you see somebody like Anthony Davis, you know, I went to UK. Anthony Davis was huge at UK. Okay. Yeah. Like it, when Anthony came out of UK, so you know, he won the championship. Yeah, he went to the NBA, that. right? You know, mm -hmm. I'm like Davis is a crazy yeah. player. And then you have somebody like LeBron James, the oldest player in the NBA that is still dunking on niggas like crazy. Mm -hmm. You got these two people and we're still not fucking winning. And you know why? Because they don't play in unison as a team to the capabilities of like, let's say someone like, who did I watch last night? I think it was the Mavericks and the Suns because the Suns are now out of the playoffs. Oh, but, okay. um, they play good as a team, like um, OKC with uh, Shea Gildress. Like, he mm -hmm. plays as a team. Like, these teams that have all this talent, yeah. maybe less than the Lakers, are sweeping niggas because they're fucking they're playing team. together. Too many cooks in the kitchen. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's just like, if you can't play as a team, you ain't got shit. Mm -hmm. Talent is, yeah, is nothing. It's a team sport. But, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Yeah. It's how can we make our talent come together and make this shit work, yeah. you know? So... Yeah, I would just, we got so off subject. <laughs> no, we're, we're still we're on, no, we're, we're on subject, but, but yeah, like, still the same you shit. know, team is important, like you yeah. were saying. And I think, I ain't going to lie, like with Iowa, I think they played well as a team. I think Caitlin was a good leader for her team. I just would like to see how that's going to translate over to Indiana and how that mm -hmm. is. Because, you know, it's a whole nother ball game from like NCAA yeah. to WNBA. Yeah. You know, but also speaking of the military force, it's like, if she's that girl, like, and I understand that she's a Nike athlete at the end of the day, but so is, I believe, Anthony Davis, and he's out here in, like, Jordan. In Jordan. So, because they're, they're kind of the same brand at the end yeah, of the day. I mean, they're yeah. not, but they are. Like, yeah, athletes know. getting signed to different brands, of course, still is a difference, you mm -hmm. know, because it's, like, Nike, Jordan. Yeah. But regardless, for these girls that aren't in exclusive contracts with someone like, you know, Reebok or whatever, that's a conflict of interest. Like get these, get these shoes in their hands so we can yes, see, please. they can have these cultural moments mm -hmm. so they can be on complex sports and they yeah. can be on, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And it's popping up our timeline because they have on something relevant. Yeah. yeah. And to be those PJ Tuckers. You feel me? Stuff, to get their yeah. own little PEs every now and again. You yeah. Know? We need that. What yeah. was that women's, was it a women's P? The one with the fucking <gasps> diamond in the thing. Oh, the fours. Those yes. are beautiful. Oh, Fours, but like, what, but we so didn't hear anything. Nice. It's just, a, it's, it's just, a, four, it's just. But a like, four. who? But we didn't see anybody in them. I have not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like for the women yeah. WNBA, and like, that could we, be, and that could go to somebody. Literally, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That could like, go we didn't to somebody. See any like mm -hmm. woman, like I mean, I personally didn't. I'm yeah. sure there yeah. probably was, but like yeah. I would have and loved better to have seen not, a rollout with the I women. Better for not see a man in them first. Yeah, because someone like, for instance. PJ Tucker exactly. was in the Alele Fours, which are never coming oh, wow. out. Yeah. But like that was, I mean, uh, I understand maybe at the end of the day, that might have not even been Alele who gave that to him. It could have been somebody yeah, at the brand because yeah. I don't want to speak on some shit I don't mm -hmm. know about. But it's it like. been Barlow's. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to put Barlow's out like that. But it's like, it's just like, okay, if he has the access to get to go on the court and wear a women's shoe. Cool. I love the fact that you're embracing women, but how come a woman doesn't get to do it for the women? Yeah. yeah. You know well, what I mean? I think, and this is how out of the loop I am with the WNBA. Like, what shoes do they be wearing on court? That's like, another thing. Like, I want to see what... You know, for some people... I because every player is different and it goes on the same size as the NBA. But, you know, some people probably like to wear shoes for performance. Yeah, Some absolutely. people, because, you know, it is, it is a, it's a you hard game. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you got to you have the right shit on. But you, you do have your PJ Tuckers, though, that is out there hooping in heat, too. You know did what he, I mean? Did he like, he, uh, play in, like, some Yeezys? And he got time? fined for it? Yeah. Oh, God. He got in so much trouble for that shit. PJ gonna... Tucker plays in a, in a lot of crazy yeah, exactly, shit, though. Exactly. He has a, like, PJ Tucker, that's another conversation. Like, I would also love to see a woman's version version of that in some way because like we had said before about there's more variety in women's fashion oh yes. yeah so that. like it would be nice to see women put on this shit so that we can see different ways mm -hmm. that even we could wear something you yeah. know all we get usually is what the men have on yeah. half the time yeah you know? and they don't like y'all were saying like it's not much 
uh, of a spectrum there to go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna need complex sports or complex sneakers or some one of these <laughs> blogs to do like how they do the men's tunnel fits. Like, yeah. and I know you said there is a page, but I want to see it on these oh, we, on, the, the big, on the same pages that the, they're the, getting posted that's, on. Yeah, exactly, the that's the we need the pages. same energy. I don't for these see women. that shit on these pages. Mm-hmm. We don't. And I mean, we're gonna watch. It's gonna start with Caitlyn because yeah. yeah. I mean, it already. I mean, with her Prada fit, it yeah. did. It started. Oh yeah, Prada, yeah, yeah. This is the first time. But then we see someone like Paige. Designer did that. Like, I'm gonna show y'all what Paige looked like because she looks cute and she's a white girl. <laughs> and I thought, but we didn't. Paige didn't get any of her any uh praise for her. Louis fit came in with the Louis. Oh, I thought she looked really I good. Love, I love it, but like so, I'm, oh, but I want to know: Did Louis Vuitton specifically dress her, or did her she just get the that I don't know? Because uh, the thing with Prada, Prada, Prada dress, dress, they Caitlin. actually yeah. invested yeah. into her, and that and was the them. one thing yeah. that I know. Like, see, like even that is like amazing. Variety. That Louis fit looks amazing. No, no. the details, and I just like Paige. Cause look at her; she's so supportive. She's yeah. like, I love my friends. <laughs> she gives cute. really good energy. Yeah, uh, yeah she, no, she, I can see it. Look, I get it that Caitlyn is good. So is she. This is a likable girl. I don't think, Kay, in my opinion, I think she's skilled, but I don't think she's personable, and yeah. I don't think she's someone that people want to talk to, right? And on, I think she's great. Yeah, I don't think like she's this though. But it's like, like her job be intimidating in person. Yeah. I feel I like know. you know her job is to play ball and not be personal. But at the same time, like for people that want her Nike to be the forefront, I mean, even if it's Prada, if you want to be the you face, of thank you. Like you need like a person. You have to have a personality. It, it's mm-hmm. it's entertainment. That's how it works. At the end of the yeah. day, like you're a you're an athlete. You're you do sports, but this is entertainment. Thank you. As well. This is why Adidas is winning with Anthony Edwards too. So like he's he's basically it, look when y'all go look at Anthony Edwards, it looked like Michael Jordan could be his daddy. Like I saw did I not send it? I sent what it to you guys. Okay, yes, you, you didn't did. watch yes, it. I did. did. Okay. Oh, like, but see, oh my but see, God. I'm always, but see. Here's the thing about Anthony. Anthony Edwards is basically the next LeBron James, and I think everyone who watches basketball knows yeah. this. Okay. So, like, because his daddy is Michael Jordan. <laughs> the theory yeah. that I have in my mind, because after what you sent us, especially <laughs> oh, the way they were breaking that down, that was. I was fine. like, but that when, was up on my bed. But when you look at him, he looks. He like looks like him. him. The the, the pictures side by side was like, oh, and, <laughs> and also. Ooh. He plays with this like electrifying energy. How that, old is that Anthony it, Edwards? Young, like maybe 22, 23. Oh, 24 at the most. Like he's a baby. Yeah. So like, but he also plays like MJ. It's kind of like, I'm trying to like timeline the year. Like what was he doing at this year? Space Jam? <laughs> oh my God. So like, it's just funny. But like, like I was saying, Anthony Edwards, he signed with Adidas. Yeah. yeah. And, and Nike and missed it with him. Because and honestly, though, from a lot shoes. of men that play ball, and not that I know a ton of men that like personally play ball. <laughs> they love his shoes. But they love his They're shoes. They're not a bad looking shoe. Adidas basketball is killing it right yeah. now. I've heard it's it from It's not a bad looking right. shoe, bro. I've heard a lot of that, too. It's, mm-hmm. It looks good. Like, they're about to win with him. Yeah. They're literally they're about to win. Yeah. Cause D, like, don't get it fucked up. D books cool, and D book is like. I um, feel like those shoes were like. Mm. Yeah, it, it went up real quick. Real quick, and then, and then, then it's kind of like. But oh, also, yeah. if we want to be real, D book ain't got no personality. Like, no. Yeah. Anthony, he belongs with Kendall. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I went to UK. Okay, I'm from Kentucky. I've seen him around, and man, mind you, I was already like off of campus at that point. But like, <laughs> but you were still on campus. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't Pretty care. much. <laughs> I feel like a lot of niggas who don't leave Lexington be on campus forever. Oh my god! Not <laughs> Yo, those guys. It, it's no, I'm for real, y'all. Like, I love it. it's a, it's a, oh, that's man. another. I don't want to hate on my city, but um, <laughs> yeah. So going back to Caitlyn, going back to D Book, these people who have pretty dry personalities, in my opinion, it's crazy when you see somebody like Nike, like she was saying, signing someone like that who isn't like personable Person, likable yeah. yeah you know and i, I don't want to sound like a hater but it's true mm-hmm. and then i think about all these other women like you know asia mm-hmm. who Which is was a big topic amazing when when caitlin's deal came out about how come she didn't get something yeah before then when she's already been she's already been in the nba yeah i mean the WNBA. excuse me for a while mm-hmm. and has all these records and accolades cute style you know and she hasn't gotten shit yeah so it's and, like, but also she's black and I, and not, that's also an issue yeah. as well, you know? And I understand, I believe she signed to Nike. Um, let me not. It doesn't have a signature shoe. Yeah. It doesn't that's have a signature shoe. Yeah. And I think that is fucked up. But like she does said. have like a, a Contract. shoe uh, or not oh. like, uh, not like a shoe. Like have they done anything with her before? Like to like, even if it's like not her own signature shoe, like put something out. 
with her. With oh, like her. her, like be in the rollout of a campaign or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'm sure like, she that, has been I a face for know. that. I'm sure she has because she's she's just, pretty popular. Just like, I would I have to go back and look though. with the conversation to be, to back pat, well, piggyback off of like what we oh, were talking she, about she. yesterday is um, easy made like a good point. And this is like why. OK, so if you watch like when the Certified Souls does come out, they brought up the whole Caitlyn Clark and Asia thing New and Nike like shoes drop ahead. all of that. So um, one of the things and I was really quiet because I was listening because I was like, I really don't know the stats in this. And blah. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things easy said was like, I think that there was like a small rollout of something like this. And he's like, if you don't move, the, if you don't have the numbers, if you're not moving units like they're paying attention, like this could have just been like a. um like a prerequisite to see if they did a shoe, like if it would move. Mm. And I'm not saying that this is the reason why, like I was just listening to like what easy had to say. And he did bring this up. And you know, when they seen what they're seeing with Caitlin Clark is she's moving units. Like she's yeah, moving the she number, the, the needle, you know, it's going up. Like when we look at her Jersey selling out right away, when we look mm-hmm. at everything and like, I know people, she wasn't the only reason people were tuning in, you know, this season when we seen these huge number jump in numbers, yeah. but she is a big reason. Mm-hmm. So I'm see, and look at this. So I'm really wondering if this didn't do numbers and they based off of that are. Yeah. Go down with the shoe. It says it's this a, came out last year on my birthday, actually. So, and nobody mm-hmm. talked about it. No, and I don't even remember. It. I don't remember anything any promo for and this i didn't shoe, know about this honest. i just heard easy talk about it and so i'm like so, oh okay the shoe is called a nike uh cosmic U- unity three yeah unity sneaker line so it so wasn't it's not a even her I yeah thought, it's thought, a dynamic she's also a two-time mvp by the way wow God, damn that was crazy Thanks to that. yeah oh kelsey unity plum she also begin them fits off too we're gonna insert all these people yeah. by the way so it's interesting to hear that th- something like this happened and, you know, for everyone to like be in an uproar. And I understand why people are upset, but it's like, you know, people are like, they haven't done anything for her. And look, like, is that, I mean, I could see why this didn't is that like a fly knit material. I was about to say, is that whole upper fly knit? These are interesting looking. They're very interesting. But it's like, think about this, though. Like, people go out of their way, well, the brands do, to, like, make sure they're seeding this to certain people and whatever, whatever. Are y'all putting the same energy into this these women's yeah. stuff? Because it's like... We pay attention to shit, even yeah. the shit that we don't like. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah, I feel like this just slipped through the cracks. Yeah, literally mm-hmm. slipped through the cracks. So, like, I, you know, my little light went up when he said that yesterday, and I, I didn't even get to look it up. That's that's why I brought it up right now. But also, like, I think it dep- It has to do with the times, too. Like, like we're seeing this craze right now with um, women's, women's basketball, basketball. And we weren't seeing it then. Like, yeah. I mean, they, I mean too, just alone know? in the numbers from – you know, the college ball that it was 9 million viewers mm-hmm. last year, 18 right. this year. Yeah. So it, that could be a, a big difference too. I mean, mm-hmm. a big deal in why we, I don't know, but I, you know, I would love to see her get a signature shoe. I would following this, following yeah. that. Yeah. I would like to see more energy put into it. Yeah. Because- I think it would be really cool if they did a few WNBA women and did, their own shoes. I would and love. It out in a I would love that. that. Yeah. I would love that. That would be really dope. I would love to be a part of something like yeah. that, like wearing it. Because like, I know like, Sabrina's shoe. There's, I think her too is coming out next year mm-hmm. as well, oh. and she's been the last woman to get a signature shoe. Mm-hmm. And I then I think Caitlyn yeah. would probably. I want the them to bring back up. those Lisa Leslie's that we've seen with the quilted pattern. Oh, yes. yes. I've been thinking yes. about those for weeks now. <laughs> like, like, damn, it's been on my mind. Nice. It's been on my mind. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um, but we need this energy. I agree. Mm-hmm. We need this energy for the girls because there's, like I said, the girls are out here getting the fits off. Putting that shit on. They're putting yep. that shit on. And like I said, they're giving us versatility because mm-hmm. yeah. we have, you know, our, our girly girls doing it. We got our, our studs. Shout out to the LGBTQ plus, 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 plus. <laughs> um, we got the, the tomboys. We got, you know, the just cozy girls, the vintage mm-hmm. girls. Yeah. There's so much, you know, dimension yeah. to these women and what they bring from a style value. Mm-hmm. And you have to understand when we showcase stuff like that and we see it, that's what adds to the culture yeah. because we have mm-hmm. our things we think about with NBA players and the things yeah. they do from Dennis Rodman and his crazy moment. Oh yeah. And how we like from his fluid Alan fashion Iverson. to his Allen Iverson fashion. Mm-hmm. Like we have so much cultural moments there. We need to start having those moments in the WNBA. Yeah, yeah. I agree. 1, and that's by showcasing them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, we've been, and like, I think I said this last week about women buy shit. Oh, and absolutely. They see it, women women be shopping. Bitch, where'd you get that top at? Exactly. <laughs> Send and the link. Talk, yeah. okay? Yeah, um, so, what do our Instagram? 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull up the because we didn't do our unboxing. Yeah, we last did not, week. y'all. We are terrible <laughs> podcasters. Okay, yeah, we had a whole hard unboxing hard. question for Jacques when he was here. <laughs> yeah. I think we, we pulled just up the totally answer. like went over. We were also like on a time crunch. It was a lot going on. Yeah, my God. But last week we did ask you guys what or who you watch or used to watch on sneaker youtube and i was hoping that would have given like people a hint mm -hmm. you know for, for our guests we were bringing. <laughs> um but obviously a lot of people said Custo. yeah but yeah, wait i, I want to hear your guys's oh um who was i watching i was i used to watch bullet rc i did watch bull um T T tony d22 uh i, I think that's his name tony d2 his, wild or yeah d2 i used to watch damn yeah. erica i watched damn erica yeah. i've said soul devita before oh yes oh. i forgot about that um i never knew of any girls when i got on youtube who else was on youtube um this guy nightwing i think that's what his page was called uh -huh um definitely fran i know someone mentioned fran up here oh yeah, yeah. he's real early yeah mm -hmm. fran really be ahead of the trend he, he really do. was i can't wait to have him on one of these days i know mm -hmm. that's gonna be a funny episode it um is. wear tester oh um foamer foamer Simpson loved him he's still oh yeah i forgot two j's too. had a channel before he got into uh his store oh yeah, yeah. he did oh my god Shout out to Jeff. He said me. Kais. Yeah. Kais is all. Oh, and Rami. Kais. But Ooh. like before, now Rami. But like, see, the thing is like, er, like not saying that they don't count. Mike the Compass. But Kais was like really like late to the sneaker YouTube game. He I'm, was. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say. He was. Cause he cause was like, like 16, 17. Because it was already yeah. like corny sneaker YouTube by yeah. then when yeah. he was it doing was. shit. And it was like. It was. It was like skitty yes yeah sneaker youtube yes not informative yes sneaker youtube and his shit was just corny yeah I wholeheartedly no offense to kais like yeah. I, I respect everything he's done and everything he's built and he really made himself a name in this sneaker world and he's doing mm -hmm. it and good for you but yeah you're i agree it was corny it was very corny. i was not a fan of the content no yeah. comment um oh mike the compass shout out to mike Sherlina had a channel. I know she was like, oh, she did have a channel. Y'all remember Sherlina? That no. that she was the first girl over in the UK to start getting all them shoes, and she would always take a picture like this before Sally, oh, the black girl. Oh yeah, I didn't know she girl. had a YouTube. Yes, yeah, I know who you're talking about. She was doing like vlogs. No, she was huge on Instagram at a point. Like I gotta see. You know page. what? Oh my god, I completely forgot about her page, Sherlina. Yes, because she had like it was very girly aesthetic. It was like very, colorful. She was one of the first nails. we've seen. That bags. were very girly. What happened to her? I Instagram? do not know. And it was know like she is. she was before a when you, lot when of I the show you her yeah. girls. Yeah. You probably oh, to show me. Shit. I don't want. I, I don't didn't want to follow her this, YouTube, though. but I seen her Instagram. And like she would do like a lot of Air Maxes and like colorful ones, and she would have the matching nails. Mm -hmm. with the, and I don't know if yeah, if you can't remember that, I, I don't know if you came across maybe, maybe, maybe because it was very it was very aesthetic before the Instagram aesthetic was okay, a thing. And okay. she was really yes. on this at first. Yes, she was, she was. not showing uh, her face. She was uh, yeah what what Pull happened her up, that please, so she can't remember. <laughs> Charlena was huge. Like what? I feel like I feel like I follow her, but I don't ever see her content. Mm. She's like from the UK. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe that's what. Oh my god, that's so funny. She has one point three million. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna send you her page so you can pull okay, it yeah. up on the mm -hmm. on it. the thing. I'm okay. gonna send it to the Sneaky Leak page so you don't have to get out of. Wait, the... no, we gotta. Oh, read the rest. We can of the... wait. Are we? Do you want to read it now or look at her page? No, <laughs> let's oh. look. Let's look. Well, let's, we'll see the rest and then we'll, then we'll yeah, go Yeah, we'll go to the rest here. and then we'll go to her page. Okay. Yeah. She looks the damn same. Let me see. <laughs> she do. She be she doing the same shit. shit. But she really yeah, had a cute, was very cute. Yeah, we'll get into her page yeah. in a minute. Okay. Is that brother? <laughs> he said, I know who Shirley is. Okay. Um... Someone said complex sneaker. Pod. Thanks, first name Jeff. You gave us all the answers. I know. Like, he really right? did. Jeff's really cool. Obviously, full size run. Loved their show. Yeah, he said Bullet RC as well. Mm -hmm. Complex shows. Especially yeah, complex full size run was show. a moment. The first season of Full Size Run was so fucking uh -huh. good. Because yeah. it was with, um, I think we had talked about this a while back. Full Size Run was originally on um, the other Soul oh, Collector. On Soul, Soul Collector. Collector. Yeah. yeah. But then. Complex. Did Complex buy them out? Yeah, I, I think yeah, so. That's what they must have. Yeah. 
Um, uh, friend relationship. His kicks. Head in the face. Oh, Ski Richie. TV. Ski Richie. TV was oh, my Ski shit. TV. I remember You know that. what? I'm so upset. So yesterday, um, during the thing, the que- one of the questions they asked me was like, if you could trade collections with any celebrity, like who would it be? And What'd I was you like, say? fuck. I was like, I don't know. I was like, maybe Mare, or like Wale. I know they got a good shit. And I was like, maybe Vashti. I'd like to see what's in her closet. Mm-hmm. But like, honestly, when I was driving home, I was like, motherfucker, DJ Ski. <laughs> <laughs> he has the best. I was like, that's who I want to. Because he has a really crazy, like, That's actually a good question. It is. Because yeah. I was like, what celebrity? I feel like they asked me that too. And I think I said PJ Perfect Tucker hair. or oh, okay. or Tiana Taylor. Maybe Tiana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> she still has good shit. She does. That's why, and that's why I was like, I don't know what bash she has that's in her closet thing. now, but I was like, yeah. I want to see what she got. Yeah. yeah. Cause she got the small size Supreme shoes. Mm-hmm. I yeah. Know. You that's know she right. do. Mm-hmm. You I know she, she does. does. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was like a few answers. Kinda T everyone. Blake. I remember that guy. Mm-hmm. We are testers. We're testers. Oh, we're testers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I clearly didn't. There was a little white boy named Blazendary. I remember him. Okay. I don't know if I remember him. Well, thanks for answering, guys. Yeah. So, you <laughs> sorry. Know, this was for last, last week because we had Kusto on and we completely <laughs> missed it. Yeah. <laughs> but we're deaf. Oh, my God. It's already 6 o'clock. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where oh, has shit. the time went? Like, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, okay. Know. So, that's it. We gonna, this, is, this is the end of the episode. <laughs> we'll, we'll look at Sherlina <laughs> afterwards, guys. <laughs> right. I know. We'll um, put in some pictures. Don't forget to follow us on oh, yes. Instagram <laughs> at Sneaky Link Pod. Make sure you stay updated with us. Um, follow us and subscribe to us on YouTube, Sneaky Link Podcast. Um, and subscribe to our streaming platforms, Apple Please Podcast and Spotify, Sneaky Link Pod. And it's been another episode, you guys. Of the Sneaky Link Podcast. Toodles. <laughs>